Oh, sorry. Yeah. Just, you know, jamming out on Friday afternoon. Good stuff. Good message, though. Have some go hard or go home, math style. So here we go. Uh, we are going to take a look at page 261, number 21, which we did in class the other day. But just in case it didn't make sense, uh, first of all, you need to read the question like always. Notice they give you a hint here. Assume you do not have to stay in the bottom of the ramp. So uh, if you're not reading the entire question, you need to start doing that. So we're not going to do, we're not going to stay in the bottom of the ramp. Now we need to identify this figure. It is a triangular prism. So technically the bases are actually on the front and the back, there and there. So I'm just going to start off finding the area of the top. Now I see this mixed number, and rather than deal with that, for our purposes on this question, we can just change 25 and 112 to be approximately 25.08 because 1 divided by 12 is 0 0.08, three repeating. So we'll just say 25.08. So we multiply those out. I will get my calculator. So normally you guys do the calculating, but you're not in my class. Thank you, Lord. Oh, sorry. Uh, 25.08 times 5 gives us 125.4. And yes, that is feet squared, but I will save that until the end. So the top would be all that. Now, I'm going to find the area of the triangles. So we'll call those the bases, because that's the front and the back. So the bases, we've got 25 times, uh-oh, feet, inches. Not going to work. So we convert inches to feet by dividing by 12. And we will get, once again, 2 and 1 twelfth which will just round it to be 2.08 feet. So, area of the triangle, 25 times 2.08. What's that? Yes, you're right. It is a triangle, so we divide by 2. And we get 26. So the area of this side is 26 square feet, but there's also another one on the back that's identical. So we're right back where we were with 52. The last surface we need to make sure we calculate is over here on this back side, right back over there. So that's actually 5 feet by 2.8. So 5 times 2 point, sorry, 0 0.08. And that gives us a side of 10.4 square feet. So now we want to total all this up. So we add it all up, go old school, forget the calculator, line up our decimals. This will help you sixth graders out who will not be able to use calculators on the FCAT. 4 plus 0 plus 4 makes 8. 5 plus 2 plus 0 makes 7. 2 plus 5 plus 1 makes 8. And we just bring down our 1. So we end up with a total surface area of 187 and 8 tenths square feet. But we want to figure out how many quarts should we buy. Well, if it, one quart covers 100 square feet, we've got just shy of 200 square feet. So we better buy two quarts, two quarts, because that will cover 200 square feet. There you go. A little bit of Miller math helping you out.